Today I'll be talking about how to make passive income on eBay or at least how I do and I'm just going to share with you my process and a little bit about that. Uh, so last, uh, well actually this past Saturday I posted uh, kind of like a vlog type video on a new video series I'm doing, um, Flip Life. and. Basically what that video series is, is I'm flipping things on either like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or eBay, and um, I'm doing it for a little bit of a profit. So basically I just find things that are either a good deal or like really cheap, and then I sell them for a little bit higher and probably eBay for the most part. And how I do this basically is um, a lot of people out there are really, really willing to like sell things for very, very cheap, um, either because they don't know it's worth or just because they need the cash. So I usually go to Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for this. And then what I do later on is resell them for a little bit more. It takes at least you know a week or so to sell for the most part on um, eBay. And uh, eBay usually takes a little chunk of that, anywhere from like 10 to 15%, depending on what you're listing and how much you sell it for and what type of um, selling um, thing you're doing with it, if you're doing an auction or just a buy it now. And um, so then I make a little bit of profit from that. And I used to do it in high school a lot, mainly, mainly with um, electronics, but they're usually a little bit more expensive to buy. And um, honestly, right now, I'm not like nearly as familiar with like what electronics or how much money as I was back then. Like I was more into paying more attention to like the new phones coming out and the new um, consoles coming out but um anyways getting into it i'm going to kind of show you guys what i'm doing right now on ebay as well as some tips and tricks on um, sort of how to do that and how to get into it okay so all back here on this desk as you can see right here i have like a bunch of like seemingly random like pieces that i actually bought on facebook marketplace and as you can see i have like a really large amount of them and if we go up here as well a lot of these pieces on here i bought like some of these pieces up here and i'm going to get a little bit closer to these guys up here to show you them a little bit more in depth so all these pieces up here um the like um, action figure like comic book ones more i bought on facebook marketplace for pretty cheap i bought this every single piece you're seeing besides like the stormtrooper yoda and chewbacca i just simply um those are just things I have. I'm not trying to sell those or anything. All of these pieces over here, and the, and the entire lot, I bought for $30 on Facebook Marketplace, which is actually a pretty good price. And then I'm trying to sell pretty much all of them on eBay. So the ones up here I have for like single orders because they might be, they're uh, probably either a little bit more rare or um, something like that, or they uh, might be a little bit more um, valuable than some of the other pieces. So all these ones I set up for buy it now offers and I'm selling them singly. And I'm just gonna like show them one more time so you could like get a good look at them. And um, some of them I have like duplicates or like two or three of, like these uh, Vision and Black Panther down here. So those guys I'll be selling for quite a bit. And this like little Thanos guy right here, I don't know how well you can see him. That guy alone's like 10 bucks. So most of these, if I just sold like this entire shelf right here, or even half this shelf, I would easily make my money back. And then if we go over here as well, um, some of these pieces over here, if we zoom out a little bit, all of these pieces over here I'm selling in like lots and this guy right here actually I could probably easily sell for like I think that I put that one at like 15 bucks and then these ones over here I put it like 10 bucks a piece so that alone right there would get my money back as well and then if I was able to sell these on the shelf over here I would double my money and then over on the table around the desk like I was showing earlier I have a lot of uh, kind of random pieces almost and a lot of these pieces are more um, some of these are like pretty prominent like some of these if I go to these ones over here ignore my broken blind if I go to these guys over here I could actually sell a lot of these for probably at least like a couple bucks a piece I mean it, I don't want to really sell them individually I'll probably sell them in a lot of lots then same with these over here and then actually on the ground I also have a lot more that I haven't sorted yet but those ones are a little bit lesser known and then also some other things I bought from Facebook Marketplace this weekend that I plan on selling on eBay are some like little Elmo dolls. They were just like $6 for like three of these guys. So it kind of made um, sense. And I you know could easily sell each of these for like five, 10 bucks as well. So um, that's all the products actually, except for this right here. Also just selling like a random tablet that I found laying around my house, which is also another great thing to do. If you have just like random products laying around your house, like this is like a tablet I haven't used in years. Um, those are always good to sell as well. But anyway, it's gonna go back to the video of me talking and explain a little bit so how I'm kind of selling these on eBay as well. <laughs> so 
So a couple general tips on how to sell them on eBay and kind of about how I'm selling them as well. Um, one thing to note, eBay is going to take a small profit or a small like um, fee out of your final sale value. So it's usually anywhere from like eight to 12% if you're just like a normal seller. Um, another thing to note, you can only do 50 free listings per month. And so for example, let's say you get like 25 listings up right now and only like 20 of them sell, those five would actually just simply carry over to the month next month unless you cancel them. So every single month you get 50 free. And then, um, like I just said, if they don't sell, they carry over unless you cancel them or set them to cancel after 30 days or something like that. And so that will go into your 50 free listings that will be coming in the upcoming months if they never sell. And if you go over that 50 limit, um, you can be charged once again. It's like usually a pretty small fee. It's anywhere. It's typically under a dollar for most items, but you can look that up as well. Um, from my experience anyways, it's under a dollar. There's a lot of different sources that on the online that say a lot of different prices. And I have never paid more than a dollar for a listing fee. And that was for some pretty expensive items. Like I was selling Xboxes and Playstations on eBay. So definitely watch out for that because they will charge you and you will have to pay that and you might not see it coming. So a couple overall tips on selling on eBay. Some of these might be kind of obvious. Some of these not might not. So I don't usually do auctions. I usually do buy it now prices unless the auction is for an item that's a little bit more expensive. And why I do this, because if I'm selling an item for less than $10 and there's an auction for it, unless it's like a super, super popular item, um, it typically doesn't sell very quickly and it typically doesn't have a lot of viewers. So often the auction price is going to be very, very low and you're not going to make a whole lot of money versus if you do a buy it now price on a cheaper item that might not necessarily sell, you know, in a day or something like that. Um, if you do a buy it now, you're probably going to get a little bit higher of a price for it when you're selling it, but it's probably going to take a little bit longer but the way I use eBay, I'm not really too worried about it. And the beautiful thing about eBay, um, once I post them on there, I really don't do a whole lot of work. That's why I kind of consider it passive income um, because you know it's not like drop shipping where like you're not handling the goods at all. I do have to actually like go to the UPS and ship these things. I do have to package them and print the packaging labels as well. But um, that is very, very minimal work in my opinion for um, a pretty decent profit a lot of the times. A um, couple other tips when you're taking pictures of your items, like take good pictures, don't take like crappy pictures. And um, also just make sure like it's like good lighting, like you can actually see the item, things like that. Um, another tip actually on eBay, if you search up your item, if you find someone else selling the same exact item as you, you can actually click sell one similar to this. And then that will obviously like show up a page. It will like give you your own new listing and it will have like all of their information besides some of the stuff like pictures and like um, a description, things like that. So that feature is super helpful and saves me a lot of time. It might save you a lot of time as well. And a couple things about shipping as well as um, um, some other small factors um, with shipping. Shipping, I pay for shipping if it's an expensive item, if I'm making like a hefty profit on it. Like if it's probably above, I'd probably say like $75. If the product's above $75, I'd likely pay for shipping. But if it's not, if it's like some of these smaller items, like those little action figure guys I'm selling, I typically sell them for like, um, you know, under $5 each one of them. So um, most of those items are actually going to be in the, um, or the, I'm going to make the customer pay the shipping um, just because it's so cheap. Um, one small thing about price, I do allow people to post a better offer. So there's a part in that that asks if you want to allow um, the buyers to submit an offer. And I do allow people to do that. Um, people typically don't do that. Um, some, uh, you know, once in a while they will, but most of the time they just take the price if they're really interested in buying it. Um, just a couple other tips, I guess, of overall. Um, don't be afraid to do some research on eBay to see how much the product is selling for compared to like what other people are selling it for. But also when you go to eBay and you click search, let's say you search up, I don't know, like Superman action figure. Don't just look at what's currently trending right now. If you go to the filter section, you can actually click sold and completed op or completed items and put that as a filter. And that is significantly better to do because you're seeing how much people are making when they actually sold the items, not just how much the items are listed for. Because these items might be listed for months or even potentially like years and not being sold if it's like a huge company on eBay or something, um, or you know, something of that extent. But um, typically, I find a lot better pricing guides when I go to the um, completed and sold section of that. 
and um, just some other, I guess, last like eBay tips and tricks. Um, a lot of these things don't sell right away and that is okay. I had like um, a little, uh, God, what is it? God of War action figure thing that I got from Target for like two bucks and I sold it for 30 on eBay, but it took about a month to sell, but um, that's still a pretty good profit. I mean, 30 bucks for literally paying, I think I actually paid $4 including tax for the, uh, for the little action figure guy. So um, that was something really big. And just overall, I mean, this is really it for this video. Going over my process, like I said, I buy, I've been personally buying things on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for really cheap and then reselling them on eBay. And I have been targeting a lot of games, toys, things of that nature. But other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. This is sort of like an update video to um, how my um, video is going that I posted Saturday. And just a note, none of these have actually sold yet because I literally posted most of them either last night or today. But a lot of them actually have a couple watchers on them and quite a few views, so that's good to see. So hopefully they'll sell by the end of the week or at least by Saturday so I can update you guys on that. And other than that, stay tuned next week for my episode of Flip Life. I will be posting a video about um, me doing some Facebook Marketplace deals, I think, again. But also, it will be me going to some um, discount shops. Like, I'll probably be hitting up a couple thrift stores, maybe a couple of dollar stores, and see if I can pick up some stuff for cheap there that I could resell on eBay. So that will definitely be a little bit of an interesting one, more vlog style. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.